The mount for the belly camera is all done. I've strengthened up a bit with glue here and there. So I can slide the camera in and out easily. I measured with the skids on and there's a 4mm clearance between the camera and the ground. So in some occasions this will actually get scratched up a bit, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, I like to show that I've strengthened the inside of this camera mount. Just use some scraps and extra glue and strengthen it. Now I'll just uh, finish off decorating the fuselage with wing tape. So I'm back with the skids. I've decided against using these uh, things here just because of the weight. Also I can see they have already deformed a bit of the coroplast here because of the pressure. So I'll be taking these off and I'll uh, use fiberglass like I did on the wingtip stabilizers. Uh, I'll be making it extra thick around this area and quite thin along all the perimeter. finished the landing skids. Uh, they look very strong but of course they are not exactly beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of glue everywhere almost. They're very uneven but uh, they should be strong at least. Time to connect the elevons to the servos. So I'll be using these. These were 
from uh, these are from ready-made RC not included Using this servo tester just to get the servo arms to to, to race. The servos are centered. Now I need to measure where to put the, these arms on the elevons control horns. I'll do the left wing first. Eighty five millimeters. Just make a hole all the way through. One control horn mounted. And I'll do the same on the other side. Just use the wing tape for reference so I don't need to measure. Too small for the clevis, so I'll be using a micro file here to adjust it a tiny amount. I want it to be a tight fit, but uh, I need to get it in there. If you try. 
try to use a drill bit you will most likely make a hole too big. This is a fine instrument for this. Yes, now it's in, but it's a little, it's a little too much resistance, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll adjust the other one. Yeah, perfect. Just give it a little reflex. So now I need to solder this. I'll just be using my diamond file to roughen up the metal a bit. Just to get any oxides off. Or other impurities. Probably not necessary, but if these fall off, it's a catastrophe. Yeah, I'll just need these to cool down a bit before I mount them. Now I can install the control rods into the carbon sleeves. Put the clevis on the end. Putting on these uh, 
shrink tubing yet because I may have to adjust something before I do that. So both control surfaces are connected. I can show you real quick. Here's the Dragon Link receiver. Of course, the antenna here. And, uh, all the main connections to the vector. I got the microphone down here by the motor. Uh, I really feel that it helps me while I fly to uh, listen to the motor. Uh, the video transmitter sits here and is connected halfway here. Uh, now I'm going to disconnect the video transmitter so that it don't overheat while I power up everything. Yeah, now we can have a look at the L1 movements. Um, right wing recommends to use high rates and low rates. Of course the high rates are for launch and landing, while uh, the low rates are for normal cruising and flight. Uh, I don't use dual rates, I don't like it, I only have one set of rates. Uh, but anyways, the low rates recommended by uh, right wing are on the elevator, uh, six and a half millimeters, so that's one quarter of an inch. Uh, ailerons, they recommend 13 millimeters or half an inch of movement. At high rates, they recommend 13 millimeters or half an inch of elevator and 16 millimeters or five eighths of an inch of aileron. And the reflex should be between three and four millimeters when measured here, uh, uh, almost out at the wingtip. Uh, if you want to be absolutely sure, you can use five millimeters, but then you have to trim down some uh, once airborne. Uh, I can tell you my rates. I use, uh, since I don't use dual rates, I have uh, uh, nine millimeters of elevator and 12 millimeters of, uh, of aileron. When launching, I use a mix of my Taranis called uh, launch mode. It gives me a few extra millimeters of reflex while launching. At the same time, I have uh, my vector at 2D no hold. I can show you the mix here. Launch mode. That's launch mode. Launch mode. So it gives me about. Launch mode. Four millimeters of extra reflex, just to make the launching easier and safer. The voice message launch mode mode is repeated until I turn it off. That's to remind me that I need to turn it off after the plane is airborne. Launch mode. Launch mode. 
Get the right CG and move the motor about one centimeter forward. That's really where it was supposed to be. Uh, while measuring the CG, I placed a dummy weight instead of the camera since I used this camera to make this film. This is the tool I use to balance the plane. It's just a piece of wood with two scraps of ply sticking up. First I balance the plane on the 197mm mark. So to achieve this I will have to move the battery forwards. Yeah, there it balances. And I make a mark with this permanent marker in the battery bay where the front of the battery is. Next, I move the plane forward six millimeters. Now I move the battery backwards until the plane balances at 203 millimeters. Yeah, that's the spot. And I put a small mark in the battery bay. So the front mark here is equivalent to 197 millimeters and the mark here is 203 millimeters and in the middle I have the mark for 200 millimeters. So now I know exactly where my CG is with different battery positions. Lateral balance of the plane is also very important. So I place the battery, then I measure with my fingertip right under the camera and on the propeller shaft. And then I lift up. I can see the left wing is a bit heavy. So then I just move the battery to the right then I try again yeah excellent so the battery should sit all the way to the right in this plane Before I conclude, I want to show you a few of the special features of this aircraft. Here's one of the detachable wingtips with fiberglass reinforcement. The landing skids have been reinforced with fiberglass and epoxy. Here is the Mobius belly camera. This is the secret source motor from right wing with a 10 by 6 APC propeller. All decoration was done with colored wing tape from Hobby King.
right wing set three is all finished and ready to fry. So please watch the maidening. 